On today's video, we delve into the JDM classics that are being left abandoned because of radiation in Fukushima, Japan. Within 48 hours, I left the UK, traveled across the world into Japan, Fukushima, one of the worst nuclear disasters of all time to see what's been left behind. And I was shocked, I mean, you know me and cars, I was almost bawling. But sit back and relax as I go and venture around the whole of Fukushima documenting every JDM car we find. Dad. Have a good trip. Yeah, I'll try to. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to cry all the way there. 11, 11 hours, 50 minutes, I'm going to cry for. No. Oh. Just of the trip, he got a. Um, is it a MacBook? Dan, do you realize me and you have probably done 10 grand before we even left UK? I know, that's what I mean. <laughs> Guys, I've not even shown you yet, but Dave's kept the beard, but I've had a shave. Let me know if I look uh, a bit younger. I'll show you in a minute. So, um,. I've had a few drinks, got a little bottle of vodka, not even gonna lie, shitting myself. Terrified of flying, like beyond belief. I almost turned around, mom and dad was out with me, I'm like, listen, I just wanna go home. And they forced me here. So, if we do make it, you're seeing this, big shout out to them, but fucking hell. God, I am so damn scared of flying, it's not even funny. It's not even funny. And you're no help, because you're scared of flying too. I know. Damn. I was hoping you were going to hold my hand, bro. <laughs> Vice versa. cleared that off, that was pretty damn good, some beef stew, noodles and stuff. Well, we did it, we made it, thank God for that. 14 hours of hell, now 25 days of heaven. I remember I made this same walk last time, 2019. Um, God, I felt, felt a bit younger then. This time I'm not alone, Dave, well, Dave's being a typical slow self, he's on the plane still, but he'll be off in a minute. Oh. I'm about to blow your mind. Let's see the real Mario. Josh, so I figured while well, wait for Josh, let's take Dave to his first vending machine. Jumping as well. Jackpot. 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 Right. You ready to experience the Japanese? So what's a hundred? Is that so 160p? Right, so let me get oh I, I see what hold my camera for me. We film this. Let me see if my Suiku card still works from 2019. Who? This card. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna get one of these cards while you're in Japan, right, Dave? We're gonna get one. It's a Suiku card. Suika. Um, basically, Where do we get, how do I get one of these? We'll get it, you can get it from most places. It's a top-up card. So basically what you do is you top this up and you can just pay multiple places, places but I've not tried this in coming up four years. Yeah, really, four so years. So we've got this sweet. So oh. is it a Suiku? Come on. It's been four years, bro. They've oh. probably taken it from you now. <laughs> I don't think it worked, did it? We have a Coca Cola vending machine. Oh, it didn't work, right? Okay, well, I'll have to get a new one, but. Right, let's chuck some, uh, some money in. What do you want? Uh, just cope for me, man. I've got that change, though. That's right, you need, the, you need the change for the arcade. Yes. Uh, take the How quick there. was that? You know, like in the UK, you gotta wait for that. There's your cock. Hey man, this is bigger than the UK. This is what? Bigger than 330? Ah, it looks like it. Yeah. 
other one next to it, or does it mean oh, I haven't took your last one over? Sit the red light next to it. Oh, you have. That's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll go with the. Uh, are they both out? They are, aren't they? That is like instant though, as soon as you touch a button, it's out. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Cheers. Is as good as home though. Better. 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 Always better. Everything is better in Japan. Oh, Come on, yeah. Dave, let's try this. Crack it open. Bigger. It is bigger. This reminds you of like we you know the old type of ring pulls. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it feels different, doesn't it? That's go on. That's definitely bigger, man. Go on. That is good. <laughs> that's annoying. That isn't it? is good. Isn't it good? Isn't it fresh? Isn't it you know fresh, what? Dave? I only like Coke as well in cans. Really? I do like bottle, glass bottles, but I'm not really <sighs> clean as little plastic bottles. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're taking uh, um, Dave's Coke virginity today. First day in Japan, successful day already. Now let's go and meet Josh. One thing you should learn about being in Japan is don't jaywalk, right? Last thing you want to do is jaywalk. People hate people who jay who jaywalk. <laughs> what the hell is exploring with Josh doing here? Yo, What's going on? It's, it's, bro, it's like a sem it's like Avengers Assemble. Damn. Just, I just, just three guys. Just it was a long flight, man. Bro, tell me about Fuck it. Up. Tell me about yeah. it. Literally. It was good, though. But, dude, the weather is way better now. I know. What are you wearing that thing for? Well, Steve was saying it's so cold and you should bring a jacket. <laughs> he says he wakes up freezing every day. Steve? Yeah. Well, he says it's cold. He said he's freezing. No but way. I'm over here and I feel great in just this Bro. right now. But I would still rather just be in a t-shirt. Yeah, I'd, be, I'd rather be in a t-shirt. Right, anyway, boys, let's go and check into the hotel and let's go to the arcades. Yes! <laughs> yes! Shit! Yo, Dan's tweaking right now. Holy shit! You guys know G uh, Dan has a, his own GTR. R32. Which, oh, yeah. which, which one was that one? It's a, a night, well, they were made from 1989 up until 1993. Oh my gosh. That was such a good find. Fuck! That's the, the back of the sky on the shows. <laughs> Lars, hurry up! If you look what the at, hell's um, that, I'll show you in a minute, just a little trailer bit. It shows the back of that car. Jesus Christ! I think there was a 200, a 180SX next to it as well. Damn. Right here, pilot. Right yes. on the left. Oh my god. Right Drop here. the music too. Let's load it up. Holy crap, look at that! I'm gonna spin around here, like. Holy crap. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put no, that on the next one. We can park here. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. This ain't like, post off. That. What? Come on. <laughs> That's the back of the Bro. Bro. It's not a GTR though, I don't think. No, I don't think so. No, it's not. It's a GTST. GTS, right? GTST. Yeah. You got 300ZX. Hey, Holy bro, crap. They're just chilling here. And you got this one. I don't know this car. So this Nissan one? 300 ZX. How much is these worth? Not that much, because a lot of them came in an automatic, non-turbo, but you could get a manual 3-litre twin-turbo, which is the more desirable model. All right, how much is that worth? Uh, in that, well, in that condition, maybe 10 grand still. Oh, 10 dang. Grand? Yeah. Which one is this? 10 grand, that Well, because you've got, you've got, you've got the GTR wing on it, uh -huh. you've got the, N, N, uh, the N1 spec lip underneath the wing, um, underneath the wing, you've got the GTR rear bumper, You've got the N1 spat side skirts there, which if they're original, you're talking about a few grand just for them. Wow, I reckon. But either way, there are a lot of different kinds of stuff around there. Oh, so many times, it's ridiculous. Well, she's got an engine in there, bro. I'm looking. She's sitting a bit high, isn't she? Still got intercooler on it. Uh, yeah. There, yeah, you got some bits in it. Boys, and it's got the N1 front lip on the bonnet as well. So it's 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 a uh, it's, it's a replica, a decent replica at least. It's still got the uh, standard front rims on. It's got different back rims. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's it's rusted shut. What would you mean? Would I take that home? Of course I would. I would take it home and I'll sleep. <laughs> you know, I'm 
I don't mind skylines. We were know. driving down the road. It nearly went off the road because of that. <laughs> I, nearly, I nearly hit a sign. I thought you were swerving a child the way you were <laughs> No, I nearly hit a sign. I legit nearly hit the sign. Fukushima, boys. Fukushima. Clara, this comes with the... Uh, uh, no, mine doesn't the come with the, with the weeds, <laughs> no, but... Oh, the... Wow. It's got it's got the GTR interior inside it. Honestly guys, I can't say if it's a true GTR because I can't get in the bonnet, but it has a lot of the GTR parts on it, even the GTR uh, rear wider arches, so to be honest, oh wait a minute, it is a it is a GCR. Look, the way they've run down the back there to pull the badge off. Boys, boys, it's a GTR. It's a GTR. Is it? Yeah, it's a GTR. It's a GTR. Is it? Wait, wait, wait. It's a GTR. It's not GTS? No, it's a GTR. So how come they have the GTS wheels on it? Well, what my, my theory is what they've done is when they've parked it up, they've took the expensive wheels off because it's an easy swap and they've chucked How do you know? Because, because, I, because I own cars. No, I own... no, no, no. Like, how do you find out? Right, so first of all, right. <laughs> first of all, you you've got the spoiler, which is a GTR spoiler. You've got yep. the N1 rear lip. You've got the bumper. You've got the wider arches, which is very hard to do on a GTST. Okay. You've also got the wider front arches. But the, okay. the, the telltale signs is, first of all, see this, see this patch here that's clean? Yep. Someone's pulled off the badge. You can see where the indentation is where they pulled off the GTR badge, which sits right there. Also, as you come around to the front, if you look inside, yep. that is the original GTR interior. And the thing that really gives it away, which no one does to a GTST, is those three dials there, which uh -huh. is your oil pressure, your boost, and oh, I can't remember the other one. They, they are um, GTR, GTR bits which don't come on the GTST, and it's not something that a guy with a GTST would actually do. Yeah, because you'd be downgrading. No, you wouldn't be downgrading, but you would. There's no real need for them for them well, kind think of about it. If you have a GTR, you don't want a GTS. Yeah, but yeah, but sometimes what you, you can just afford. Collect them. It's oh. like I know people with GTSTs now because GTRs are just ridiculous price. Yeah, you're about forty grand for a GTR now. All right. But unless I mean, unless we look in the bonnet and there's an RB26 out there, <laughs> that's when we're going to know. Ultimately, it'll be an RB20 if it's not a GTR. Right. <laughs> So the reason why I've come to the conclusion that it's a GTR is I checked the, the underneath the rear wings and on a GTST when you put the wider body from the GTR on, especially the rear wings, they've, they've got to be adapted and fit. And sometimes you can see the uh, the lining underneath uh, underneath the other bit. So that is one of those. Police are just driving past right now, grilling us pretty badly. Um, but underneath, yeah, as I was saying, underneath the arch, you will see the, the remnants of the original arch. Um, so yeah, it's also had a GTR badge on the back of it, which has been removed, you've seen the indentations of it. Um, full GTR interior, including the triple dials, which you don't see done on the GTST, very rarely anyway. Um, the only thing I couldn't do is get inside the bonnet because it was all rusted shut. Um, uh, if there's an RB26 in it, then yeah, GTR. Otherwise, it would have been an RB20, but I highly doubt it. I truly think that is a Nissan R32 Skyline GTR. Oh, well, we have a little... Uh, it's Daihatsu, this one, isn't it? Daihatsu Mira. Another abandoned car here in Fukushima at uh, the house so we've just actually finished filming something over there which is um, uh, it was a clothing store you, you might have already seen that video because what I'm doing is I'm traveling around and I am compiling every car that I find all into one video and calling you've already seen the cars of Fukushima and this is just another one to add to the list obviously it's not a GTR an Evo or an Sylvia or a Subaru whatever else we've seen during this trip but it's worth documenting these. Look at the load. Look at the JDM wind deflectors on that. Look, you can see they are just pure JDM wind deflectors. I used to have some on my EK Civic, just like that. It happens. Look at this. All right, so we just made a car stop. We found an Evo. Holy crap! I've been drinking my coffee. Right. 
Bro! An evil! <laughs> the hell's an evil seven just doing in a bush? Oh. I want to see if we can get around the other side of it. Oh, you can't even see the front of it. Bro, look at the state, that's insane. It actually, it's not even that bad condition to be honest. But the, look how long it's been here for, it's all grown around it. That's where some die. Dude, doesn't it look like someone was drunk driving and they just ditched their car? Yeah, but that's that's not so bad. Exhaust on it, Bro, I wonder if this is the same. Dude, what the fuck? What? This is the same car that I seen, like uh, on my second trip in Fukushima. Oh, you see the front of it? Yeah. yeah. Back on it. Hold on. Hey, does anyone else hear that? Hey, Josh. Music? Yeah, what's that music? Yeah, I don't know, but have you guys noticed yet how quiet it is? That's what I mean, it's no so cars. quiet. Evil's in bushes, and then you've got this weird, like, nursery music playing somewhere. Maybe it's, like, for the kids coming out of school. I don't know. The school, really what, in Fukushima? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so we've been stood around this for about 10 minutes. It's just, yeah, it's heartbreaking having to leave this. And it looks like it's been tuned pretty well as well. It looks like it's got a HKS exhaust on it. Is that good? Yeah, well, it's a good good system, yeah. I, I mean, personally, I have a Tomei. A Tomei on mine, titanium, but... Yeah, it's nice. Evo 7, damn. Damn. Oh, this is another day in Fukushima, boys. And, and girls, whoever's watching. Such a shame. When when we, we got to this car, you were like, I've seen this before. Yeah. How? Well, uh, it was on my second Fukushima trip back in 2018, I believe. I seen the exact same car and I just checked the thumbnail on my YouTube video and it's the same license plate on it. So yeah, but it was never this overgrown before. You were able to see the front of the vehicle. It's nuts. And how long ago was that? Yeah, that's like uh, 2019, 2018, about. So in like four, four years, years four years, look at it. The, the nature is completely taken over the front end of the car. I can't believe it. Wow. Bro. This is bad. What? That's 0.5, right? Is that, is that USB? Hold on, hold on. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, all right, all right, that is high. That is high. It's okay, though, it's okay. It's not, it's not really Seabrook, so that's the highest. 400. No, dude. Five, it's five. Are you sure? I promise. Bro, that's four Sieverts. Fucking right? hell, it is. Yeah, but that's okay. No, no, that's not okay. Right there? It's, it's still high, but that's four seasons? 3.5, 3.6. That's really high. I was let down here as well. We need to go and see the cars though. Fuck that. Wait, we could, but we gotta be quick. Let's let's keep hold of that. Let's get to the cars. 10 minutes, that's it. If it goes any higher, we dip. How long are we in there for? Inside was fine, it's here. Yeah, it's outside. It's off Utaba. Obviously, we're getting close to the, the reactor. And all the, also the cars too. They right, hang on, let's show that off one more time. Radiation absorbs metal. Nice, yeah. well, let's let's see that. Let's let's get near the cars and see all if right. it goes up. If, no, it go, is... if it goes to like four or five, I'm out. I've been in there. And don't forget, don't forget, it's, the it's that's every hour. So it's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah the radiation no, it's not. Is high right now. It's four sievers. Yeah, but it's no, not... no, no, no. It's four. So this is four micro sievers. It's the highest. I, micro, I actually bro. can't. Micro is this. MRH. No, 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 no. This is USB because it's still it's still considered high in normal standards. It's still, it's the, I can't believe it's even that high. I'm not going to lie. That's high. That's the highest I've seen. That's, that's the highest. Right, let's, let's, yeah, uh, let's not debate it's it still, here. It still is high. We'll debate it in the car. Let's just go and yeah. see his car. What? You don't come in? It's high. It's high. It's, it's every hour that, so it's not too yeah, bad. If we go in there for 10 minutes and then dip. Hour. And that's not that bad. That's not, that's like oh, a... Stand. Oh, okay. What? That's fresh there. That's Is this the way, Dave? Is that the way? Yeah, I promise. Oh, fucking hell. I promise. 
Oh, it's scary. I hope you're right, man. Yeah, USV's micro per hour. Oh, look, there's one of the fire engines that used the power plant. It could be. Actually, bring that, bring that up to it. Yeah, so the fire And see what it says. Okay. So these are the workers' cars from the power plant. Has to be, there's no other, re there's no other reason for it. It's high, level eight, high levels. I mean, we are really close to the, like I said, we're close to the Nice one. Okay. STI? That is a thick STI. If that is from the Super Sigma, like to try to put out the fire, the computer, I mean, I got it. It might be even hot. It might be really hot. Oh, look at that. That is cool. That's who Cosquare it is. All the same levels. That's the entire area. Yeah, four, four point three. It's not bad. Yeah. Oh, Civic though. Well, let's take a look at the car for now. Yeah. Wow, this is crazy. Damn, for a second awesome. when I see. <laughs> When I seen the M, Steve, I'm not gonna lie, my heart did stop for a minute. Because we were in there for two hours, and at five, two hours, ten, uh, new receivers, that would have been... It's a nice one. That's pretty much standard in size. Oh, WRX wagon. The WRX wagon. Oh shit, that's why, that's uh, fresh, that's fresh toxic waste, uh, fresh radiation waste. Yeah, we don't know what this is, we don't know what that, that sign says. That's fresh, um, that's fresh like soil, but that's, uh, I think that's like the, the, the highest radiation soil from like close to the thingy. Let's, I mean, we can go up to it with the Geiger. Let's go and see if it is that, yeah. pulling out that kind of fucking region. That's crazy. This whole area is insane. All these cars. It's not even like they're broken. People can use the key and put them on and drive away. They go all the way back there as well. So if you just joined, uh, currently I am road tripping throughout Japan again. Uh, second time I've been here, I'm here for about 30 days. Uh, right now, I'm doing an episode on the JDM cars of Fukushima. Fukushima was uh, Fukushima is where the power plant melted and emitted radiation very similar to Chernobyl. It's not worse than Chernobyl, but the Japanese government and the Japanese people acted very fast and swiftly, managed to get it under control pretty quickly, but it's still a major disaster. A lot of the areas are still red zones. Right now, we are currently in a red zone. Uh, the, we are picking up five microceivers on the, the guider counter, but I am here to see the cars. I'm doing whatever I can. We've already seen R32 GTR, seen an Evo 7, you know, we've seen 300 ZXs, um, Civic Type R's, and uh, we're going to venture through here and see what else there is. Yeah, my heart is kind of shaking a little bit. Nah, we're fine, boys.
So a lot of these cars are the workers' cars of the power plant. The reason why they're here is because by the time they had it under control, um, about 24 hours later, the cars already had absorbed so much radiation. Now bear in mind this is 12 years ago, 2011, but still these cars will be contaminated for a long hundreds of years. Uh, eventually they will probably all be scrapped somewhere and buried in the ground. Uh, but right now there's some waste here that they're covering up. What's the ground reading? Damn. Five. Five point two. Solid. Look at that. High. High. One. High. Let's go. I thought you said if we get ten, that's bad. Uh, yeah, if it was Millie Sievert. So, right now, we're getting five micro per hour. We need 1,000 oh. of those to make one Millie Sievert. So we're, we're Look at that. Oh, what that's is a, that? That's a nice uh, Impressa wagon. Impressa wagon. Yeah. Nice. I've never even heard of that over here, guys. Oh, whoa. He's at six. It's, I think it's this. It's, um, this is putting out the radiation over here. Steve, bring that over here. Let's, let's see if it's yeah, is I this. Right here is the decontaminated snow. Over here is the decontaminated snow. So, what's that? 5.2. No, it's lower. Yeah. I think it's more towards the cars because metal attracts radiation. Yeah. So oh, look at the cubes. I really want a black. I really want a black cube to sit next to the GTR. I think it'll look really nice. Black GTR, black cube. Another STI over there. Let's see how strong this claw is. If anything, this has probably the highest radiation here, I would assume. The, oh, the car did. Yeah, this was used to dig up the dirt. Man. Uh, uh, it's not really increasing. No, it's not. It's not increasing. I think it's the woods. I think it's the actual, I think organic material. Does the organic oh, material not metal. absorb it better than metal? I don't know, but hey. What a sight, man. What a crazy Okay, I'm gonna pull the car around that side and I'm gonna go over and see all these cars. I just don't really wanna walk across because if someone turns up, I can't get away fast enough. So I couldn't really go across to the other side without being seen. So we decided to fly the drone. There wasn't as many cars as I thought. There was a really nice S2000 there. Oh, look at this little Nissan Cube. It's one of the old, old ones. In fact, I've yeah, I've not, I've not even seen one like this before. <laughs> look at the uh, steering wheel cover. Got some eyebrows on it. It's quite cool, actually. Got the JDM window flexors on. Yeah, not a lot, bad little find. Oh, would you look at this? An abandoned Subaru dealership or garage. I wonder 
what is inside those gates. Oh wow, this is cool. So I don't know if it was just Subarus, or if it was uh, other things as well, but. Sorry guys, and all the excitement, I didn't realize I'm not taking it off this. Yeah, so you've got this little thing here. You've got a lot of bumpers here. A lot of parts, but I want to get in the garage there. I'm wondering if there's a WRX inside. Just don't know exactly how to get in just yet. I don't know, I just don't, we need to, I need to get inside there because there could be a WRX or anything. We just don't know. Well, the Subaru boxes here, new old parts now. I don't know what bumpers these are off either. I'm not, I'm not massive on Subarus. I love my Japanese cars, but I've never owned a Subaru yet. Um, obviously, for those who don't know, I've got a, a GTR, R32 GTR. Um, got some German cars as well, but I'm, I'm selling them. I'm coming out of German, I'm just into Japanese now. But this is cool, <laughs> this tiny little Subaru here. Uh, so it's all locked up in here, but as you can see, proper super batches. Oh, that's so cool! Look at that Legacy Impreza uh, for Forester. Oh, I wish I could get inside and show you guys, but I bet you've got so many new old parts in the super mats down on the floor. There, let's move a bit closer down here. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get inside, but this is not the only dealership. There is a Nis an abandoned Nissan garage that we're gonna go to, and an abandoned Toyota garage too. Um, there's, there's numerous. It's never ending here in Fukushima. Never ending. Oh, I've just been driving down the road here in Fukushima. These are workers' cars, and check out, they're doing some work in there, but check out what we've just seen. Oh, an Impreza just sat there, rotting away. Fukushima, what are the odds? So now that's a, an R32 GTR, uh, an Impreza, um, what else do we see? 300 ZX Evo 7. Oh, look. It's got a roll cage in it. Yeah, full roll cage. Yeah. I think it's probably going to be a, a, a WRX. Uh, yeah, it looks like. Thought there's workers right down there. This is really cool. The Hoover. The Hoover a what? Yeah, Steve, this was actually a WRS type Hoopra Cooper. It was a WRX slash Hoopra Cooper model. Looks <laughs> 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 nice, man. No, nah, it is nice. Wow, I like the hood. I wonder if that's stock. Yeah, of course it's stock. I mean, that, I think that's probably why it's the WRX STI. With the, the, the vents, I'm sure. I'm sure these have got these. Do these have top mount intercoolers, Dave? Are they top? Are they not originally top mount, like the um, stop, like the Starlets and the um, the uh, the Pulsar. All right, well, big shout out to my boy Banner World Explorer Dave. He spotted this as we were driving down the road. So uh, yeah, big shout out to Dave on that good spot. He spotted a couple of good ones so far. He spotted the Evo 7, but um, I didn't spot the R32 GTR. How could I not? I was like a magnet. One of the workers told us to leave. 
Yeah, they're all coming out in full force now. <laughs> we locked in. This is still a high radiation zone and obviously these are in special equipment that we do not have but we're only here from you know seconds really uh, the radiation level here is um, it's calculated on the microsievers you receive every hour so not to worry too much it's mainly the pollen and the dust you kick up in the in the which is bad for you oh my god right five minutes down the road from the impressor oh shit holy crap never seen one of these in real life I've never seen one for sale. What I've just found is a Prince Skyline. This is an S54 Prince Skyline. This is where it all began. Where it all began. So this was before the Hakisuka uh, 2000 GT Skyline. This is going way back. But it's still here. It's falling apart. It, it's really full. I don't even want to touch it because you, if you sign inside that you're going through it but it still remains here in Fukushima, Japan I'm just going to try no it's locked hey look it's even got it's even got a bit of a race steering wheel going on inside the honestly this has <laughs> been the craziest 8 days of my life honestly um, it's been heartache and pain but also an absolute pleasure to see these cars um, but knowing the fate of them it, it is a depressing thing one last look at it it's sinking, it's sinking into ground on the other side you don't see it look at this look at the holes in it but it's legit sinking into the ground look what a shame I'm just so surprised the glass is still intact I mean the glass is still there still has still has an iconic back end, I saw it when we were coming down there and I knew straight away what it was, as soon as I saw that back end I was like, how can you mistake those lights, although, you know, the, rect the rectangle, uh, they did evolve into obviously the, the twin circular headlight, the twin circular rear lights that we all know and love today. Okay, so adding this to the uh, radioactive JDM cars of Fukushima. I'm just about to head in here to do a paranormal. This is uh, Fukushima Hospital, and it's the first paranormal I've ever done in uh, Japan. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. But we parked in the car park of the hospital, and it's full of cars, so let's go and take a look. Oh, look at this little thing. Little Honda, I love these, I'd love to buy one of these. Have a little black one, sat next to the GTR. It's like every car is cool, it doesn't matter if it's tiny, it doesn't matter if it's one of those 600ccs, they are all really cool. That one, at the end, <laughs> I thought that was a Panda at the front for a second, and another little Honda. Yeah, look at them, I'm pretty sure these are turbo, this one's turbocharged. It's like even like the Micra, the uh, the um, Micra March, I'm pretty sure that was uh turbo and supercharged one litre engine um, it is going dark I've just had to do some intros for my uh, other video but you can just about see these cars here, can't really have any lights so, wow, look at this one with the tri sporks <laughs> I don't know but it's not everyone's cup of tea, I know it's tiny and stuff but I still think it's cool as fuck really like it but these are all the um, actual hospital vehicles and uh, ours, they're blending nicely. But yeah, these are all the hospital vehicles. Kind of crazy. But um, yeah, on to the next abandoned car. So that's it. That's what I've got so far. So I've spent 10 days so far in Fukushima, Japan. Venturing through the red zones, the areas you're never meant to see, and all the radiation all the debris left behind. Now obviously we are taking precautions and we have guided counters. We kind of know our limits. But this footage here is from the largest car graveyard in Fukushima, which I have a whole video coming pretty soon. To get to this area, we had to go deep into the red zone, which was pretty damn dangerous. We saw the highest radiation levels so far on this trip in fact 
Not all of us made it here, some of us turned away it was that bad, but it was well worth it. I'm so glad we got to see these places, and I'm so glad I get to show you guys what's really going on here. But yeah, new video coming soon, don't forget this is a full Japan series. There's going to be 10 Fukushima episodes, plus multiple episodes from around Japan from the best abandoned and five paranormal special episodes too.